My grandfather raised canaries, and one of my best friends, Jeff, introduced me years ago to the junco, which is a small member of the sparrow family uh, that you can find almost anywhere here in British Columbia, especially in the winter months if you hang a bird feeder or any tree or bush has any food whatsoever on it. Uh, you can rest assured the jungles will soon be there. I'm hardly an ornithologist or even an amateur birder, but I do love birds. I have marvelous photos on my cell phone of a white egret working the treasures of the Grand Canal in Venice at Point No Point Resort in Souk, British Columbia. You gaze out either from the dining room, which is way up on a hill, or from the balcony of your secluded cabin. Uh, right at the Strait of Juan de Fuca and, and uh, Washington State's Olympic Peninsula. And inevitably, you gasp at the arrival of the bald eagles. From your cabin, they seem to be within arm's reach, among the many varieties on hand at the Rifle Bird Sanctuary just outside the city of Vancouver. You can watch hawks swooping over the marshy lands, their eyes and instincts totally tuned to the voles and other rodents scurrying for cover below them. There have been periods of a year or two when the great black crows seem to have multiplied a hundredfold and taken all other species away from the neighborhood. Then they're emboldened to dive bomb you as you walk by. I could swear I've had two or three follow me home, yakking angrily along. These are very spooky Hitchcock moments. One day a week I travel to Bowen Island, a truly beautiful place, just 20 minutes by boat from the city. It's not unusual there to see owls, and the owl is, of course, a cartoon of itself. It does actually stare and blink, just like you'd expect it to, and asks over and over and over again, Ooh, ooh. The city itself is fairly teeming with Canada geese. They're huge, lumbering characters, and they claim territory shamelessly, settling in wherever they wish, chewing away at all the grass and pooping as they go. If you happen to be driving 80 or 100 kilometers uh, an hour on the causeway that runs a major highway through Stanley Park, well, good luck. You and thousands of other cars will just stop because the geese could care less. We all come to a halt as these lords of public space waddle across the road for a better grass or better nesting place. When was the last time one of these regals ever flew south for the winter? Pickle. Birds are not only amazing and beautiful, they do this odd thing called flight. They fly. They were here long before us, and they'll be here long after us. We owe it to ourselves and to them to notice them and cherish them.